Dear students, welcome to Creative Learning Resources. Today we are going to talk about the topic for IGCSE Reproduction in Human. In this topic, the first thing is you have to understand how to label different parts of the diagram of male reproductive organ system. So let's go to the whiteboard and I'm going to draw the male reproductive system for you. And now we are going to label it to dif its different parts and this labeling is very important because in the exam they're going to ask you to label different parts of male reproductive organs we start from the top this one is called as ureter put urine and the function of the ureter is to transport urine from the kidney to the bladder and now we're going to see that this is the bladder or urinary bladder Its function is to store urine. Now, what is this part? This is called as a seminal vesicle. What does it do? Its job is to produce the secretions, which include lubricants, which include uh, nutrition for the sperm to survive. So they help actually. The lubricants and the nutrition, they help sperms to survive inside the female reproductive system. Next is, of course, this one is the male reprodu reproductive organ, which is called, called as the sex organ, and its name is testis. So this is the testis. T-E-S-T-I-S -E is singular. Its plural is, if you're talking about two, then it should be T-E-S-T-E-S, -E testes. Sperms are produced in the special tubules over here. For IGCSC, you people don't have to know the name of these tubules, they are called as seminiferous tubules you don't need to know them after the production of sperms these sperms are actually stored inside this structure this these small tubules are called as epididymis and then the sperms continue the journey and then they keep on traveling through this tube and this tube as this it's for the movement of sperm that's why this is called as sperm duct Sperm keep on moving through this tube all the way up and then reach to the seminal vesicle. And once they reach the seminal vesicle, the secretion from the seminal vesicle is added into the secretion which is coming from the, the testes. And these secretions, they include lubricant. The sperms continue the journey. And then you can see that now sperms have reached to that part of the sperm duct which is now gonna join with the tube coming from the bladder and after this point this tube is called as urinogenital duct why is it called urinogenital duct because this is the tube through which the urine as well as sperms both can pass that's why it's called as urinogenital duct but for IGC systems you can just call it urethra sperms continue the journey and eventually they reach inside the female reproductive system and this is called as semen. Semen contains secretions coming from testes as well as seminal vesicle, which we have seen over here. And then this organ over here, that's called as prostate gland. Everyone knows about that because in male, a big reason of uh, the problems related to urine, uh, especially in the people once they reach to old age, is the cancer in the prostate. So it's called as prostate cancer. It's very common cancer in uh, aged males and uh, due to which like these glands they just swell and then they actually uh, pinch the urinary tube due to which the urine cannot pass and then the bladder it just keeps on filling it with the urine. So what is the role of epididymis? Epididymis over here this is meant for the storage of sperm. So sperms are produced in the testes so testis is meant for production of sperm. So students, I hope that this is a very helpful video for you. For the next part of the section, you're going to watch the next video. The next part is going to come soon. Thank you very much for coming to Creative Learning Resources. All the best, take care and have a wonderful day ahead.